They say if you remember the 60s, you weren't there. But if you were, then you remember the sexual revolution. The pill, feminism, and later a radical magazine called Forum. Its feisty young editor was Bettina Art, who taught us all we needed to know and more about the mysterious world of sex. I was training to be a clinical psychologist at University of New South Wales. It just happened that one of our teachers was interested in the new sex research coming through. And I just thought, what a great area this was. I mean, it was just, the doors were opening. People were beginning to talk about something they'd longed to talk about. And we caught the wave. It was very exciting. There was a lot of ignorance and misinformation and embarrassment about sex. We had censorship. We had books that, like Lady Chatterley's Lover had been banned. People were embarrassed to talk about sex. They often were ignorant and didn't have the information they needed to really enjoy this aspect of their lives. It was a really taboo subject. I did my research helping women who weren't enjoying sexuality as much as they wanted to. Women had never looked at themselves. They didn't never touch themselves. And so we were really starting from basics. The pill was a really important in changing the lives of women and men, but particularly for women, of course, the, the fear of unwanted pregnancy had an enormously inhibitory effect on your sex life. The big change, which was particularly in the early 70s, was we didn't have this idea we had to save sex from marriage anymore. Sexuality became something that women and that single women could enjoy, and boy, was that a revolution. Publishing a sex magazine at that time was hair-raising. <laughs> we were particularly nervous of Queensland, our deep north, and we were, in fact, regularly being hauled up for the Queensland Literary Board, which would determine what we were allowed to publish and what we weren't. You know, there were a lot of elderly men on this board, and occasionally a rather stiff woman would be there making decisions about what Australia could read or look at. Compared to the 70s, women are so much more confident, so much more sure of their place in the world. The area that interests me, of course, is in their personal relationships, where women now have all the power. And now, if women aren't happy about anything, they're, they're entitled to leave and they have the power to walk. And that's absolutely changed the nature of personal relationships. Online dating is changing the lives of single people over 50. And, I mean, people of all generations, but it's particularly that older generation that I think have particular trouble. You know, you haven't dated for 20 years, you've been in a long marriage, and to go back in is so scary. And they have to have the courage to, to leap in. And one of the things I'm doing now is helping with that, doing online dating coaching, helping people write their profiles, particularly older women who are often very nervous and really bad about how to sell themselves, how to describe themselves. They don't know what it is that they have that's special, and I help them find that. 